see if this is working. What's up, everybody? Are you guys here? This is a new uh, thing. She's a mess. Okay, let me see. All right, I'm trying to figure out how this thing works. I think there's a way. Let me see. I know I've done it before and I have like comments and stuff. Let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, there we go. Karina? Hey, Katie. What's going on? You guys, excuse the mess. I'm so sorry. I just came back from uh, work and then CrossFit. I'm exhausted. And um, and I was doing 50 things at once. And then I was like, oh, yeah, we're doing a <laughs> live thing tonight. So uh, sorry about the mess with the dogs. What's going on? What's going on, world? Everybody give a huge shout out to um, Enrique's Walking Dead group, all like 100,000 of them. I think there's 20, 27,000 or something. Uh, huge love to you guys. You guys are massive, massive, incredible uh, fans of the show, and I love being a part of the group and seeing what you guys are up to. Um, what's up, Jay? What's up, Randy? What's up, Laura? What's up? Hello from New York. I just got back from New York. What are you working on now? Um, now I'm executive producing a new series uh, with Storyline Entertainment. We just got a deal. Um, it is based on a book uh, called The American Dream by David Lee Winditcher. Everybody go out and get this book. It's incredible. Uh, it's kind of similar to Narcos. It's a, a true story. And um, I got the rights to the book. And then we got now... Uh, a packaging deal right now. So uh, we're making a new TV series. American Dream. And let's see. Oi. What's up, Brazil? What's up, Alex? I'm a little nervous. You can't tell. What's up, Pennsylvania? Boston? Cody? April? Just chilling with my dogs. Oh. Yeah. Canada, Canada's in the house. Randy Weatherby, holy crap, we're going old school. I haven't seen you in a minute. Um, album, yeah, you can, you guys can get my music. Uh, my album's out on everything, on iTunes, on SoundCloud, on Spotify. You got some music on there. What's up, Daphne? Everybody give humongous love uh, to Katie Lester and to Daphne um, and to Enrique. Um, you guys just just daily um, blow my mind. All the all the love, all the fan art, all the messages, support. Um, Mags, what's up? Mags in the house. Hola, cómo estás? Um, we do it. We do it for you guys. Um, I had had such a small part on the show and it seems uh like um i was able to to connect with so many people and have such a, a huge blessing of um getting to be a part of this amazing saga and uh this amazing family of you guys being being able to be a fan with y'all so it's crazy crazy ride three seasons um 10 or 12 episodes it was uh, so fun. What's up, Cara? All right. So Enrique's Walking Dead group. Everybody say hey to Mr. Bear, by the way. He's just chilling back there. Rocco. Um, let me pull up y'all's questions because I'm doing this for Enrique's Walking Dead group. Everybody click on the links. I think it's in here. And you can join um, the Walking Dead group. Enrique Santana. So I'm going to go through some of the questions, and um, and then I'll read some of the questions you guys are asking now. Let's see. Um, did you have to take Walker classes? <laughs> I didn't. Um, no. I think uh, it just came natural. 
I, I don't know. It was fun just watching so much of it and uh, getting into it with, with everybody. And um, all the all the stuff that, that the extras do all day long. I mean, they're just so passionate about it. They're so, you know, I mean, all actors are, are equal. And they are just killing it all day, every day in the hot Georgia sun, all the makeup, um, everything that we do. So it's fun to get to do it. For a day, I don't know how many more days I would want to be covered in all that, all that makeup for 12 hours. But it's so fun, super fun. Um, who did you become closest with on the set? Uh, kind of. I mean, everybody probably closest with with um, Cooper, uh, who plays Jerry. Um, Coop's my boy, Kari, um, and. Uh, Carrie, and I mean everybody. Otto, <laughs> uh, it, it was a, it was definitely a, a huge family experience. It was funny from day one. I was nervous and kind of the new guy on set, and I remember um, Melissa saw me and she was like, "Daniel, what's up?" She gave me a big hug, and I could have sworn I was getting punked. I was like, "What in the world?" Um, she remembered me. She was actually a casting director in Georgia um, way back when and, and booked me on stuff. And uh, I couldn't believe that she remembered me. So that was a cool experience. But um, no, the cast is just phenomenal. So, so incredible. Um, and Andrew, it's, it's crazy to see Andrew in and out of character. And you just see how incredible he is and how much work he does. And, um, Huge fans. Uh, and watching Kari <laughs> with his novels of dialogue every day um, it blows my mind. So so it's clear why the show is so big. The actors on, on the show are so amazing. Uh, what future projects can we look forward to seeing you in? Um, I got the rights to a book. Everybody pick this book up. It's amazing. It's called The American Dream by David Lee Windiger. You can get it uh, anywhere. You can get it on Amazon right now. Um, it's kind of like, it's a true story about an Argentinian immigrant um, that became a drug lord and then decided to turn his whole life around um, with felonies and everything. He became uh, the first, he, he decided to become a lawyer and uh, he had to overcome all of the system, all the prejudice. You're not allowed to you know, have felonies and, and start to practice and be a DA. And um, it's, it's an incredible story, a lot like Narcos. So I uh, got the rights to the book. We got a deal with uh, Storyline Entertainment, and, um, and now we're developing it into a series. So I'm uh, so excited. I'm super, super excited. You guys check the book out, and then um, hopefully you'll be watching the series. Uh, let's see. Why is... Enrique's Walking Dead group, the best <laughs> fan fan page. I mean, clearly, have you seen it? It's just all the details, all the love, constantly. Um, it's it's amazing. Everybody, go join the group right now. Be a part of this gigantic uh, Walking Dead family. Um, what was your favorite experience working on Walking Dead? Besides kind of the magic of it and besides coming back to, uh, to, to Georgia where um, I was born and raised. So it's kind of funny to go to Los Angeles and chase after all of this. And then um, everything I booked is back in Georgia. So uh, we got Homeland that I shot with Claire Danes. Um, it was pretty close in North Carolina. And they were, I was working on uh, Vampire Diaries for a while um, here in Georgia, and then now this. So it's incredible to, uh, and the Marvel films, it's incredible to see everything getting shot back home in Georgia and um, get to see my family. Um, so working on the show is an incredible experience, all of the, all the artistry of it, but um, getting, getting a tiny taste of, um, of this, of, of the global phenomenon, and, you know, hearing stories from people, 
you know, that, that recognize me in Brazil and in London when I'm traveling and, and uh, in Asia. And uh, they'll tell me stories about how the show has touched their lives and how, like, they won't get along with their family. But every Sunday night, they all get together after dinner and watch the show. So um, to be a part of something like that is is uh, an actor's dream. It's definitely an incredible opportunity. Um, let's see. Did your family know about your sexuality when you came out? Um, or was it just when the fans found out? Um, that's funny. Uh, no, my, I've, I've been, uh, completely open with family and friends for a long time. Um, I think, and I didn't even realize, I mean, I, I felt like my part was so small. I didn't think anybody was even going to notice. It was, um, I was, I was helping out with different, uh, youth shelters and volunteering. And, um, you guys might've heard this story before, but, uh, one of the girls was just like, um, you know, thank you so much for helping out with the LGBT center and um, helping out gay people. And she said it like she didn't deserve it. And she, she didn't, there was something in it that just felt wrong. And I was like, well, you know, I'm one of you. And she was like, why have you never said that to anybody? Um, so it just made it feel like on my heart that it was really an important thing to, uh, just be open and honest about who you are, especially 2017. I mean, we're all equal and everybody needs to just be themselves and be comfortable and, um, not have any, any need to pretend to be anything you're not. So, um, so yeah, I just thought I was making a small gesture just to kind of put the truth out there. And then it's been mind-boggling to see um you know all the magazine covers and all the stories that came out about it and um hearing you know kids in high school and colleges uh all over the world that have sent me messages talking about how you know that that it helped even in a small way so i encourage all of you guys to just be yourself be true and just know um how important it is to everyone around you that you just stand up for for who you are and um be proud of proud of yourself um it, i've had nothing but incredible things happen so i definitely encourage you guys uh let's see do you prefer modeling over acting <laughs> that was a secret enrique um <laughs> uh no I, I definitely prefer filmmaking and tv show making um can't uh, Calvin Klein stuff and all that all that stuff was that was a while ago but no it was it was incredible you know to be a kid coming from a small little town in Georgia and suddenly being able to live in uh Paris and Japan and um New York and travel the world it was um it was it was an incredible learning experience um it's definitely not a career but it was it was a cool cool thing to be able to jump on a plane and go do uh, let's see if you could pick any actor in the world to work with who would it be and why um my favorite since i was a kid was dicaprio probably every young actor in uh in my generation um like generations before it was probably like james dean but mine was dicaprio because you would see all the all the different diversity of characters and things that he did so um i'd still love to do that i was working in a restaurant a long time ago, about uh, 10 years ago um, in New York, and he came in, <laughs> and I never get starstruck, but I was like, damn it, it's DiCaprio, holy crap, I got a little nervous, but that was fun, and I, was, I, I would love to do a project with them one day, uh, let's see, um, did you know what the Walking Dead role was before you got it? Um, no, crazy story, a really embarrassing story. Um, they're so secretive. You get you get uh, scripts that have fake names and fake scenes, and um, and you really don't have a clue what you're doing. Um, I guess I guess some of the stars do, obviously, but um, my role's smaller, so um, I remember day one. Um, the, uh, 
<laughs> the wardrobe um, was fitting me. And the girl was like, oh my God, you have to be so excited. This is like the biggest role. We've been, we've been planning on this for like a season. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Like they haven't given me any details about this character or like what? She's like, no, he's like the main bad guy of the entire show. Like we've been so excited to meet like who's going to get cast in your role. <laughs> and so I was freaking out and I was like, what in the world is this part? Like, what are they talking about? And um, she was like, okay, well, don't tell anybody that I told you this, but um, Google Negan. <laughs> I still don't know. I, I, I feel like she's probably punking me or something. Um, it would be the cruelest jo joke ever. So I think she just wasn't even sure. But um, so I had, I had started researching Negan and, um, started developing what I would think the character would be. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's so embarrassing. And then I get there and I'm, I'm working and Greg McTero was just like, what are you doing? Like your character shouldn't be this emo. <laughs> I was like, yeah, but I'm secretly like Negan, right? And everybody just started laughing at me. So that was a fun way to start. Just getting a little gut kick. Um, but, um, but besides that, it's just been, uh, <laughs> it's to be a part of something that's, this is iconic and that's just such a fun group of, of people, you know, just hometown people just working their butts off, just loving it. So passionate about what they do. Um, all the diversity, all the cultures, it's a, it's just a, a reflection of everybody. So. I feel like I'm talking my ass off right now, but y'all had so many questions. Uh, let's see. All right, so those are a bunch of the group's questions. I'm gonna answer some of y'all's questions now. Let's see. What's up, Corey? What's up, Tin? What's up, Jen? What's up, Katie? Sorry, I, I was missing a bunch of y'all's messages uh, when I was trying to read all of those. Let's see. All right, if you had any questions, type them out again right now. I'm sorry about that. I uh, I was trying to read from, from their questions that they wrote me. What's up, Kentucky? What's up, Boston? <laughs> Thank you. You made me blush. Holy crap. Thanks. Bear. Come here. What are you doing? He sings. He's a performer. It's crazy. He can match like any note that you sing. What you doing, B? What you doing? What you doing? Oh, there's Rock. My boy Rocco. Hey, Muffin. What's up, New York? Hey. <laughs> Good boys. Yeah, I know. No, the fact that they were making it like a two-episode cliffhanger, I mean, it was so, so sad. I think the saddest moment watching the show is watching Shiva. I was like, good God, no. No! They ripped my heart out. You can tell I'm kind of a pet lover. <laughs> Watch out, dog. Oh. What's the next acting agenda? Um, I'm repeating myself a little bit, but uh, so I got the rights to an incredible book called The American Dream by David Lee Winditcher. Go pick it up, uh, Amazon. It's a true story about an Argentinian immigrant, drug lord, had a huge, um, a huge, what are you looking at? What are you doing? Um, 
grab the book. So we got uh, a deal with Storyline Entertainment, and we're developing the series right now. And um, it's, it's kind of like Narcos. It's a good gangster series um, with an incredible heart. The guy turns around and started saving kids, getting them off the street. And um, um, it's an incredible true story. So that's what I'm working on right now, working my butt off. And uh, my album. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, working on a little bit more music. Put a bunch of songs on different TV show soundtracks. Um, some of it's on iTunes, and Spotify, and you have cats. Oh, they don't sing. <laughs> I gotta say, um, I'm so 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 lucky from the bottom of my heart to have you guys. Um, I can't believe there's over a million people now on Twitter. And um, since I opened up my my Instagram to be public, now there's hundreds of thousands of you on there. Um, it blows my mind. And I can't answer all the messages, but I definitely uh, do my best um, to get back to any of you guys. So, so many of your messages are so deep and uh, talking about what you're going through. And um, I try to be there for you as much as I can because I know there's been times in my life where you know, you just need to reach out and talk to somebody about things. And um, so I, I really respect that, that you guys give me that. So send a huge love. What's up, Illinois? What, what? Venezuela, Brazil, Portugal, Russia, Vietnam. We got worldwide. Crazy. Oh, who's your favorite band? I'm a 90s kid. <laughs> well, I'm an 80s kid, but uh, uh, Nirvana. Nirvana is like my all-time favorite band. It can do no wrong. Um, but I love everything. I love Bjork. I love Nine Inch Nails. I love old school Madonna. I love um, big mix of... Metallica, big mix of everything. If it's got some good stuff, I'm usually loving it. Ready for a new CD? I know! It's time! Gotta get to it! I've been slammed though. I've been so busy with, uh, with um, I'm running a tech company, so at the same time I, I got the tech company off the ground, um, started getting a, a team together. Um, then I got Walking Dead, so I was kind of juggling both back and forth in New York and Atlanta, and uh, it's been it's been a whirlwind. And now I have the new series, so um, got a lot going. <laughs> What's up, Melinda? Mm hmm. All right, Sharma. Michael, what's up? Shawnee, Oklahoma in the house. What's up, Michael? Arthur, Randall, Jennifer, Christian. What's up, you guys? What are you guys up to? You're asking me all the questions. What are y'all doing? I'm probably going to have to take that offline. You know, send me some message. It's going by so fast. Amazing where everyone is from. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's worldwide. Bye, Ashley. Night. Some people in Europe can't believe. I can't believe you guys are awake right now. I know, Wayne. Way to go, Australia. Hell yeah. We got some equality in, uh, well, there's a lot of work to be done, but it's, it's, it's ready to go now. Mm -hmm. What's my favorite song? Of mine, uh, I don't know. For some reason, uh, I always love rodeo. Rodeo, rodeo is kind of timeless for me. I was about to die. I, <laughs> you guys, um, thank you so so much. We've been on for like almost half an hour, so I hope that I answered any questions that you had. 
while Bear's tearing up that bone right now. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for all the love. And I uh, hope you guys grab the book, The American Dream, David Lee Windicher. It's my new series that we're developing right now with the storyline um, on Amazon. It's, it's an incredible, incredible book, um, you know, about literally the American dream, coming over and just making a life for yourself and going through all the kind of narcos gangster stuff and uh, overcoming – overcoming so many hardships and uh finding a huge human human story human struggle and victory so i fully endorse it and i'm signing on to it so i'm so excited um thanks show appreciate that y'all making me blush getting all nervous and shit um but Get the book, check it out. Hopefully, uh, you'll like the series once we get it out. And um, and oh, holidays, holidays! I'm doing uh, a handful of autographs. So if anybody wants one, they're on Twitter. Um, there's a link on Twitter, and uh, doing it for UNICEF and, and the Red Cross. Um, so if you want one, go on Twitter slash Daniel Newman, uh, get one, and yeah. Hit me up, you guys. Y'all got my information. Um, get on nerdy. All right. I hope you'll have a good night. Hit me up. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.